Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back once again. And, uh, and one well, of us is going to have to change. All right, unzip me. Ah. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, we are sporting <laughs> our uh, our handy-dandy Renegade shirts, which uh, actually, now we have a third shirt design. Don't know if you all know about it. It is the uh, Video Starts Blank. Video Starts at Blank. Video Starts at Blank. Um, that's, uh, of course, the Caleb shirt, because yep. he's always in the comment section reminding us of when to... Of when to Start the dag on video, and, and all for that. that we, and for that we say thank. Him? Yeah, we say thanks. I guess. Sure. Yeah. I guess. I mean, you know, if you just want to, you know, hey, I mean, all hey. right. <laughs> as as Tyler Durden said, eh, just cut the foreplay. <laughs> so okay, and it's like not Caleb, by the way. Yes, you totally. Yes, are. you are. Nice try, Caleb. <laughs> it was a good attempt, but yeah, we're nice not falling try. for it. Nope, not at all. So many accounts. I wonder how many accounts he's opened. Man, I don't know. Yeah, you, you think maybe he's like got like ten computers working around the clock, just like waiting for us to release videos. Well, you remember, he basically is a computer. Oh my God, you're right. There we go. I fixed it. <sighs> yeah, that answers that question. Mm-hmm. All right. So just to let you all know that about that, you know, you, there's a link to the uh, store in the description down below. So check that out. Also. Um, we want to give a special shout out to Vampiric Dark Dragon, who uh, who suggested this. Actually, let me yep, uh, just suggested make, this one on you know, the Discord. Me, yeah, suggested this on the Discord. Make double sure on that. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, Vampiric, Vampiric Dark, Dark Dragon. Dragon. Yes. So yes, there we are. So, so uh, uh, this is the uh, Doom song "Hell to Pay" by Miracle of Sound. So Miracle of Sound, we've actually been doing good. <laughs> With them so oh, far, I mean, that, Miracle of Sound does excellent work. Yeah, they, I mean, they've done really good. Oh yeah, and and, and it's from, it's all just one dude. Yeah, yeah, and you know, from the Sovngarde song and uh, you know all the other ones we've done, and yeah. Nordmead was Nordmead really good. was really good. Yeah, Nordmead that one was, was good. quality. So this is uh the Doom song "Hell to Pay" by Miracle of Sound. Let me uh, actually get it up on the screen. Yeah, let's let's just uh, let's just get right in there. Get right in. All right, and boom. Awesomeness, chainsaws, and severe lack of diplomatic solutions to interpersonal conflicts. <laughs> Your discretion is advised. Oh, man. That theme. Yeah. I don't think it's quite as classic as E1M1, but... Oh, no. Man. Oh, the suit. Shoot him till he dies. Yep. Yep. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh yeah. The world they built in Doom is tremendous. Yep. The amount of detail that they put into it, not just into the kills. Oh. The kills are one thing, but yeah. I mean, but like, this looks fantastic, but it also looks almost exactly. Like, it looks like the evolution, the proper evolution of Doom. Like, the original Doom game. Yeah, this, well, I was going to say, its software is owned by Bioware. 
by Bethesda. Yeah. Bethesda, they, they did, the team they dedicated to this, you know, they were raised on this. Oh, yeah. As I think a lot of people did. A lot of people were raised on Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Like, Doom and Wolfenstein? Oh, yeah. Which, which I mean, are both 8 software. Yeah. Like, that's a huge, huge development. Like first person gaming in general. Yeah. First person gaming in general. Uh, you know, first person shooter, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, this thing. Yeah. Yes. Quality. All right. Yeah, hell to pay. Gavin, Gavin Dunn, Dunn you Miracle killing of Killing it again. Absolutely. Yep. Man, Paul the good man. <laughs> yep. Paul the good man. That's yeah, good. It's software with as a community team. Yeah. All right, so uh, that's uh, that was a hell of a thing. Yeah, that tell was. you what, that was a hell of a thing. <laughs> hell, hell of. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, mm. Yeah. So thank you for requesting that vampire. Oh yeah. We we could see why because it. Uh, well, Miracle of Sound always does tremendous work. Oh yeah. I mean, just the just the work that that's put into it, the lyrics and the and the and the music that's with it. I mean, honestly. When they said the first lines in it were rip and tear, I and was it's like, just like, we're in for a good time. And it's just like, yep, that's Doom. All right. Yep. And we're I love that he start he started it off with the with the original, with some of the like the original footage from Doom. Oh yeah. Or was that Doom Two? I think that might have been just original Doom. I think it was OG Doom. Like OG Doom, maybe the the HD or like HD, like an, a remaster kind. Yeah, of? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. The, I think it was from the uh, the Xbox 360 port. Ah, uh, yep, that they, would because do. Because they did an Xbox 360 port, and uh, it, it's actually really good. Actually, Jeremy and Jack from uh, Achievement Hunter actually did a uh, actually did a um, uh, sorry the audio level cut out there for a second. Oh, sorry, that's weird. Yeah, uh, Gremlins, leave it alone, man. Anyway, man. uh. <laughs> Uh, so Jeremy and Jack were actually playing it, and it looked good, you mm-hmm. know, for a game over twenty years old. I mean, jeez, and and I mean that game holds up. It does, it does, and the sound effects are still good. Oh yeah, and yeah, it, it's you know it, it ranks up the tension because that's what it's supposed to do. Uh, I mean it's you know uh, original Wolfenstein's kind of you know a little hokey. Well, it, it is hokey. I mean, well. It's it's you taking on Hitler in oh, Castle yeah. Wolfenstein, which, and you know on the moon. Yeah, and on the moon. Yeah, too, final yeah. final boss fight. Let's go to the moon and punch Hitler in the face. Yeah. Okay. And, now, now, don't get me wrong. You know, Doom in it, in its own sense is a little. Uh, I mean, could be considered hokey, but at the same Doom, time, Doom's a it's little more, bit hokey, but less so. Well, it's more it's more grounded because because the truth is. You don't start out with a historical figure like Hitler. You're starting out in an in an original. You're in an original setting. You are on Mars. Yeah. You got you got your ass to Mars. Yeah. And then pretty much. Uh, turns out somebody's trying to rip you a new one. Yeah. You know somebody's trying to tear you a structurally superfluous new behind. Yeah. So you rip and tear right back at. Him. Yeah, and you rip and tear right back at him, straight into hell. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you take and him to hell, like, you go with him, and, and you're just like, "What the crap is happening?" It's so good. Yeah, it, it's craziness. It's absolutely oh, yeah. sheer insanity. But you know what? It's awesome. It's great. Yeah. And uh, then this one, it looks like they've gotten a lot of it right. They did. They did. The one thing that a lot of people were worried about was the platforming aspect, because the platforming yeah. aspect. If it's done improperly and you don't implement the combat with it properly, things can go haywire pretty damn quick. Yeah, but first person platforming, you have got to do a like you've got to do a damn good job. If they had messed that up even a little bit with Portal, that game would not have been nearly as good as exa- it was. Exactly, but you see, this game took lessons from it. This game took lessons from it, and it implemented the you know the the first person shooter combat with. The you see, it's like how Titanfall did it. How Titanfall mm-hmm. does it is really good, and Doom and the team from Doom saw that, learned from it, and saw what to do 
and what not to do. They learn what not to do from watching, you know, Call of Duty, Advanced Warfighter, Advanced Warfighter. Which, <laughs> that's that's Advanced Warfare. Advanced, well, Advanced Warfighter Warfare. is uh, Tom uh, that, Clancy. That, Tom Clancy, yes. So yeah, Ghost Recon, Advanced, Advanced, Advanced Warfighter. Warf- yeah. Advanced Warfare. Sorry. Yep. Uh, so many cod, so many cods and uh, battlefields. So out so many there, things involving ghosts and advances and uh, yeah, and, um, and black opses and, and black ops and yeah. But so yeah. I mean, that, really though, that's one of the things that I think makes the the doom update special yeah because it's taking the old school doom yeah that still holds up and it's applying the things that we've learned along the way to it to make a newer game that looks like it that feels like the original yeah it does feel like the original i mean if you take the platforming aspect down you you're back to original doom you're oh, back yeah. to original Doom. And, and and you know the reason they couldn't do the platforming? Because then they would have had to add look up and look down controls. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have the buttons for it. Yeah. They well, were just like, well, I mean, we could do... Mm. Well, and now with controllers and mouse functionality being what it is, I mean, it's it's easier Oh, yeah, to much implement. easier to do. Yeah. And for and for Doom, I mean, and for the... And for... Okay, so when we had the first Doom, you mm-hmm. know, there was only... you know, Actually, the first two Dooms. It was just basic look left, look right, and shoot. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Yeah, then, like, you had look left, look right, you know, your strafe movements, and then shoot. Everything yeah. was on the same plane as you. Yeah. Uh, you didn't have to move up or down. Yeah. And really, like, those games weren't... Ne- like, the mouse wasn't necessary. No, no, no. Really Everything wasn't. was on the keyboard. Yeah, it was uh, WASD, and then uh, what was... What I was can't remember shoot? what was... Uh, space it, bar... Space, space bar. bar was space bar was shoot. Yeah. Um there were uh I think you also used the arrow keys. Oh yeah, as you well can do that as well, yeah. For uh looking looking around and such. So yeah, so yeah, that to me, you know, going from that and then we had Doom 3 which which was which, a thing. No, well okay. So what they did wrong, it, you see it Aaron Aaron Hansen uh stated that uh you know Poor implementation into the three D into the full three D realm, you know, because you see, Doom was in three D, but it was on a fixed Z axis. Oh yeah, the the fixed Z axis meaning that you had no control over you had no control over your vertical or lo- or you know lowering. Yeah, you ev- could, everything you, was set on the same plane. Now you could move up in fields and down in fields, but you could not do that freely. You right. Couldn't do, you, couldn't you had to jump. you had to go up the stairs. Yeah, you had to go or up the stairs. Or you had to go the down lift. the stairs or fall down a hole. Yeah, or the lifts. Or the lifts. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's the same thing in uh, Legend of Zelda. Uh, Legend of Zelda. Uh, gosh, uh, which one? Uh, not Link's Awakening, but uh, Link to the Past. Link to the Past. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Link to the Past. You know, it was on a fixed Z axis. You know, you could go up the stairs and down the oh, stairs. Oh yeah. Some enemy, enemies could fly over top of you, and. Um, and you see, you have some of that in Doom. You know, there's some enemies that you know that are floating a little bit, but you can still hit them. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, their hitbox extends down. Yeah, so that you can actually hit them. Yeah. So, um, but then you know, so I'm gonna go back to another game that Aaron hates, Ocarina of Time. Oh boy. Okay. Go well, ahead. Well, so you you were talking about uh, poor transition to 3D. Think about what would have happened if. Ocarina of Time hadn't worked in 3D. Uh, if, if, think about what that would have changed. Well, if Ocarina of Time wouldn't have worked in 3D, I think that would have set back 3D gaming another five years probably. Oh, yeah. Because, Be- because between Ocarina of Time and Super Mario 64. Yeah. Like, those were huge. Uh, monstrous. And in terms of 3D titles, I mean... Those were the best implemented 3D titles at the time. Oh, yeah. Period. I mean, Nintendo got it. Nintendo got it, and there were still some things that could have been worked out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, case in point, you know, having the one uh, analog stick, it's good, but having two oh, works yeah. so much better because one controls your movement and the other controls your vision. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, and that makes things so much easier. Um,. But yeah, like this this Doom implementation, like if this had been Doom three, yeah, oh boy, its software would be probably be a titan right now. We would instead, yeah, we would have at least probably like four more Dooms, probably, probably, and and its software would have probably 
not had to have been bought out by Bethesda. Yeah. You see, because when Bethesda uh, bought out id Software, id Software was in dire straits because you know the commercial. Well, it wasn't a failure of Doom Three. It was a di- it was a little bit of a disappointment. Yeah. It wasn't a commercial failure. If it had been a failure, id Software would have been would have folded completely. Oh yeah. Yeah, and John and you know, and while John Carmack left, you know, Romero left a long time before. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. let John Romero lo- left a long time before, but Carmack was still there. And a lot of the original Doom and Wolfenstein teams were still there. And some of them are still there, to my knowledge, but John Carmack left to go work on uh, Oculus, yep. which I don't know how that's panning out for him. Uh, I, I mean, to be fair, when he when he moved, Oculus was looking real good. Oh, yeah. N- now. Now, that, now that the vibe is out, now that PlayStation VR is out, and now that, you know, people ha- – and now that – VR is so expensive. That's the real oh, yeah. killer to it. VR's, VR in and of itself is expensive, but you've also got to have the graphical processing power in the computer to do it, yeah. which is an expense on top of that. Yeah. Like, which, uh, somebody was talking about the like the hidden expenses of the Switch. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you, you have to go get a, a pretty good size SD card and all of that, and I'm like... Well, actually, uh, uh, the SD cards aren't as expensive as they well, used yeah, to be. Yeah, right. Which, but it's it's an expense nonetheless. Yeah, it that is. You an don't expense. expect. Yeah, that's and, true. You know, but if you think about the hidden costs of VR, Ooh. when the costs are already so high, yeah, yeah. it's just, rough. Just the cost to get the visor alone. The visor for the Vive, I think, by itself is like like five hundred, six hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. And if you want to get the hand controls, that's an additional that's an additional one hundred, hundred and fifty dollars right there. Oh yeah. Same thing for the same thing for the Oculus. And now the Oculus okay, I've heard this. The Vive in terms of the, the head module, you know, the the visor, mm-hmm. it's it's the best out of the mar uh, in the market. But in terms of the hand controls, everybody says the Oculus is, is superior because of it because uh because the Vive, it has the, it has, I think it has the, the sticks and it has the triggers and it has mm-hmm. like several buttons that you can use and the Halo and the, and you know the the Halo rings that are on top of it, you know, are a good counterbalance for a lot of things. Oh yeah. But they say that the Oculus one is better because of the uh, because the triggers are actually a lot, you know, you can, actually the triggers have a lot more implementation to them where it's you can the pressure you add to them. Is oh yeah. Very. It, yeah, you know, it's very precise. The precision on it's a lot better. Well, it's a lot like the uh, the 360 controller. Yeah, yeah. Because you know you have uh, pull and then you have click. Yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah. Pull, yeah. So pull you can down. you can actually mess with that some, yeah. which is kind of nice. Oh yeah, but, I like that a lot. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's one of those tricky things. Like VR, VR is coming. Yes. Yes. Is VR is VR here? Not mm, yet. Not yet. No. Uh, you see, it's just like early, early three D games. You you remember those early three early three D games? You know, like like for instance, um, it was a, uh, gosh, it, I forget which one it was, but it was, uh, it it was only available in arcades, and they tried to port it to the they tried to port it to I I forget which video game system, and it didn't work. Ooh. I forget the name of it. it. It kills me. But everyone said this is the future. This is the future. And when it flopped, everyone was just like, "Oh, it's well, oh, the it's a passing, dead. <laughs> well, it's a passing fad and all this and all that." Truth is, no. When it's properly implemented and it's made accessible to the mo- to uh, modern day gamers, you know, and and you know, everyday gamers. Oh yeah. That you know, everyday people. Then then it's hit the mainstream and it's in. That's just like when video gaming hit the mainstream. Everyone thought video gaming was going to be a passing fad, isn't, isn't and that the amazing? arcades were going to, and that the arcades were going to die out. Look now. Well, that the arcades were going to stay. Oh, and then well, the arcades. Yeah. You know, now arcades are sort of a. Uh, oh, what's the word? Um, relic. Relic is not the right word. It's sort of a uh, like a nostalgia piece. Okay. You know, they're they're run by people who loved arcades. And want them, you know, and would like to keep that sort of thing alive, which I totally respect. No, I respect that as well. I but, love arcades. But yeah, as as such, that's about the only way you find an arcade anymore. This is true. Yeah. Um, isn't isn't it amazing how we sat down and we listened to a song, and now we're discussing the nature of uh, VR and gaming and all of that. <laughs> 
Man, we don't shut up, do we? Well, we we ramble, dude. That's what we do. Yep. And people say that that's what we love. What we do, they love what we do. Yeah. Hey, secret. You want to do a secret word for this one? Uh, how long have we been going? Uh, twenty minutes. Nah. nah. No, we okay. haven't. We haven't reached secret word territory yet. Okay. Um. <laughs> but yeah, I we should we should probably go on because we we got to record more videos. Yeah. So yeah. So once again, thank you, Vampiric Dark Dragon, for the request of the Doom song. This was uh, solid. To pay by Miracle of Sound. If you wish to see the original video and check out Miracle of Sound, link it is in the description down below. Oh yeah, let give, him know who sent you. Give that guy mad props because he does 100%, excellent work. True, truly tremendous work. Oh yeah. So um, also. Um, let us know if there's anything else you want us to watch. Uh, there is a request thread in our Discord. Link yeah. to the Discord is actually in the description as well. So check that out. Also, don't forget to check out our shirts and our merchandise. Also, and uh, our Patreon and our various other endeavors. And uh, also, uh, once again, thank you for tuning in, everyone. Shouting out for the Renegade, or signing out for the Renegades. I'm Nate. I'm Ben. We will see you later, Internet. Peace out.